For calibration you need aerated water and a zero solution. Both have to be at near room temperature or the temperature you want to do your measurements in. First, connect the meter. Use the USB-C cable and uh, connect it to the computer. Use the USB port designated for the optode meter. Then you connect the temperature cable. Make sure that it's a temperature cable for the up to 4 meter. Connect it. Now take the optode and write down the serial number so you can always trace back the optode. First remove the dust cap from the optical port and then you start by inserting the mini jack in channel number one. Remove the dust cap and insert the optical connector. And then you start up the, the locker software, the RAID software or the profiling software. It takes some time for the software to find the connected meter. Disconnect the channels that you are not using in order to maintain overview. In this case we are only using channel 1 and channel 5. Start the experiment and give your experiment a relevant file name. It will take a little while for the software to continue. First you select external temperature sensor, you select new calibration, insert the temperature sensor into the aerated water, expose, expose the fiber, it's flashing with an orange color. Position it into the aerated water and press calibrate once the signal is stable. Look at the live window below and don't press calibrate air saturation before you have a stable signal. Now it's time to do the, the zero oxygen calibration. Wipe off the temperature sensor to avoid bringing oxygen rich water into the zero solution. Position the temperature sensor in the zero solution. Expose the fiber once more. Still flashing with an orange light. Wait for the signal to become stable. You see the signal is actually increasing now. The value is somewhere between 45 and 55 for a good sensor. You can clear the graph in order to change the scale, also clear the temperature signal. So now you see that the signal is actually fluctuating between 50.70 and 50.72. This is pretty stable. So you hit calibrate in zero. Rinse, rinse the fiber in the DI water and you're ready to go. You may choose now to save the calibration and you can 
copy the calibration into the sensor. There's a small EEPROM on the, on the mini jack cable. So next time you start up the software, it'll automatically select this calibration. Now you can press calibrate it and wait a little while and the scale is changing. So you are ready, you are ready to do the measurements. Once you're done, once you have completed your measurements, disconnect in the same order as you connected. Always remember to, to mount the dust caps so we don't get any dirty optical connections. And you close the software. It warns you, but everything is saved already and you can always open your, your session and extract the data.